Greetings. Hello, hello, hello. So, I might be uh, preaching to the choir on this one, so to speak. But um, I have been learning to use intuition as a, well, learning, in, oh my God, using intuition as a parent. Well, what in the world? Well, I will say this that um, my sons are like, oh man, my dad's intuitive, Ugh. which means <clears throat> sometimes I know stuff and they know that I know, and I know they know that I know. And they're like, I know parents do know that also, but sometimes parents don't know. And that's the part that I'm referring to. And Last night, um, we had a little Bible study, and um, <clears throat> one of my sons, he's becoming a teenager, and um, you know how teenagers are, and uh, great guy, he is, and um, he's like me, where he just wears, you know, his feelings on both sleeves, and I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. And and I'm like, mm, me and his brother are like, no, you're not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's most definitely a, um, a challenge for, for patients, you know, and this is a parent and stuff. And, uh, but it's a good challenge. And <clears throat> so we just, you know, continued on. And, um, so I said, uh, well, let's pray. And so we prayed, and um, long story short, what I noticed and what I perceived in intuition was, and I've had this with other people also, not just my kids, um, but sometimes I'm talking to somebody and I hear either somebody who has talked to them or has talked to them, but it's like a, a little chatterbox in their ear. And... And I hear what it's telling them, or I feel what it's telling them. I just saw a kitty. Sorry. Um, anyways, and that tells me that, or it gives clarification as far as who I'm having dialogue with. And is it is it a spirit or entity? Possibly. I mean, but it could also just be a tape recording that I'm hearing that they hear. Um, there was another case where I talked to a person and um, I heard this angry voice talking to the person's ear. And I was like, and they were just seeing some very ugly things. And I'm like, hmm. And so I said, who is this person? And they're like, it's so-and-so. And I was like, or where have you been hearing this? And they described it and it was someone they knew very close. And I was like, interesting. And so what it does is it exposes, I think, through the vibrations, you know, or frequencies and, um, I don't know, resonance, stuff like that. Um, something that I was not aware of because it's very easy for me as a parent to get caught up in the day-to-day -day routines and, um, you know, just task as a parent. And so what I discovered was, because <clears throat> even right after that, the way he's responding directly correlated to what I felt in the intuition and what I saw and I was like oh so now I have a clarity as far as what's going on is from my son's perspective and and you know I, it gives me tools to to understand him and to work with him on on getting past it and now I actually got some more stuff and um I, it's going to be good so you can use your intuition for those things you're not sure about. I have another child and um, they can be across town or what, I don't care where you are. And um, I had known some stuff and um, shared it with that person and um, they're like, really? And I'm like, yep. And so there are children, you know, and um, 
that heart connection is there, so it's open. And that gives that ability even more to be able to connect in the intuition um, with, with, the, um, with that little baby that you love so much. So I don't know if it helps you or not, but you know, there's times where you're just unknown. And I'm gonna say also, sometimes you don't know, you know, and you know, it just takes time, but uh, sometimes you do. And so, and it's okay if you do, and it's okay if you don't. Uh, it's just, you know, part of growing up. But um, I thought it might help. Um, like I said, it might be just a reminder, but uh, if you experience that, it'd be cool to know. Thanks, bye.